Star Fox. Released in 1993, this revolutionary game was only made possible on the Super Nintendo by using a brand new chip built into the cartridge known as the Super FX chip. This allowed Star Fox to use more power than the SNES was capable of, and as a result, 3D gaming on a console was now a possibility, albeit very limited still. This on-rail space shooter features polygonal 3D graphics with basic textures and a slow frame rate, but for 1993 this was a technical masterpiece and would have blown console gamers' minds, I'm assuming. Sadly, having not played it back in the day, I can only try and imagine how much of an impact this would have had on gamers. Despite this, even in 2017 I can appreciate what was done, and despite its quote-unquote flaws, looking through the eyes of a more modern gamer, I can still have a fun time playing Star Fox. Controlling the R-Wing as Fox McCloud, you must help out the Lilac system for the evil Venom by blowing ships to pieces either on planets or in space. Boss fights occur at the end of a level, forcing you to shoot vulnerable parts one at a time in order to take down the entire ship. All the while you get some killer tunes to listen to, along with your teammates occasionally asking for help or just being plain annoying, which is still actually fun to listen to. While I have no nostalgia for this game or the impact it had at the time, I can understand why Star Fox was such a big deal back then, and the fact that it is still enjoyable today says a lot about the quality of the game. Yeah, it might not look the best, and yeah, it is a little slow, but the gameplay is still good, the sound is great, controls are fine, and the overall atmosphere of being in space battles is superb. A solid thumbs up from me. Now, if only there was a sequel. Thank you. 